What's going on, everybody? In today's video, another person arrested, this time for allegedly selling fake Pokemon cards across the country. So second bust of the year. This, of course, this article comes out by People.com with their crime section. Published November 5th, so five days ago. Uh, police say the man, Michael McCoy, sold fake Pokemon cards with little to no value for thousands of dollars. <laughs> really, excuse me, interesting story for the Pokemon community and everything. Uh, really interesting read on it. Link will be in the description. But the Tulsa Police Department said in a release via Facebook that it began investigating the Pokemon card bus months ago. So out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, authorities had received complaints from five buyers. Hawaii, Arizona, Texas, Colorado, and Ohio, who told police they bought thousands of dollars worth of rare and high-valuable Pokemon cards from Man in Tulsa only to receive fakes. In their brief meeting, police identified the suspect uh, named Michael McCoy, the TPD in the Tulsa County District Attorney who specialized in intellectual property and trademark infringement, partnered with Nintendo, and one of its employees determined the Pokemon cards were, in fact, counterfeit for the release. So, guys, going to these shows and seeing them counterfeit cards stay far, far away from them. Even though they look cool, they're a copy. You think maybe Upper Deck did a reprint? If it was a reprint, trust me, you're going to know it's a reprint out there. And if I see those again out there, I'm going to start taking pictures of them and posting so you guys can see that people are still out there. They don't know any better. They buy them thinking they're reprints. This guy actually knew they were counterfeit. All right, the cards that were sold by the suspect had little to no value on their own. However, were being sold as rare collector's cards for $350 per card. People reached out to Nintendo but did not immediately hear back. McCoy was arrested Tuesday at the post office. Police said they found him in the process of mailing more counterfeit cards to another potential victim. Hopefully we get to see more on to this case. Um, it talks about the buyers. They even list their names and stuff. At first glance, he was convinced the cards were real. Absolutely looked flawless. The suspect also alleged said footage that showed him packaging and setting the cards. Ben said he sent McCoy $3,000 for a week for the cards. $3,000. Whew. Uh, received the cards. Immediately knew something was wrong. I, that is, I knew. I was like, these are terrible quality. These are totally fraud. So, kind of curious, interesting with it. Another one uh, made up $12,000 and is alleged scammed. Uh, Whedon said McCoy, which is the guy who got busted, had $12,000 and alleged scammed. Uh, he also allegedly had an outstanding arrest warrant in Arkansas, has been charged with obtaining merchandise by false pretense over $1,000 times five in violation of trademark anti-counterfeiting act. His bond for the false pretense charge was set at $4,000 per his booking record. He's being held without bond for Arkansas warrants. So, craziness, Pokemon community, you guys get a win today. Uh, guys got, allegedly, we're going to say he was arrested. They haven't convicted him yet. But, you guys got another bad one off the market. People banding together. Look at that. Hawaii, Arizona, Texas, Colorado, and Hawaii. Five states. People from all five of those put the complaints through. They probably talked to the Pokemon community onto it. You know, all got together, hit the Tulsa uh, Police Department up, found their stuff. You know, they pretty much did their investigation for a few months, went out there, nabbed them at the post office while he was mailing more counterfeit cards. Tell you, they're getting them. They're getting them out there. Scammers, beware. Gamers, beware. People are tired of the crap out there. They're going to go out there and get justice the legal way. I'm not talking about going to somebody's house and paying them a special visit legally using the police, law, for law enforcement, lawyers, all that. So really good thing here. Um, if you guys hear anything else about stuff like this here, always feel free to email me. Hit me on Discord, whatever it may be. Discord link's always below. Link to the article below. Other than that, guys, I'm out. See you next video.